but then I had to run to school and I had to dodge him. <laughs> I just couldn't stand to hurt him. And he'd get a full grudge of me and chase me. At one time, though, I could have whipped Charles Eckers bigger than I was and stronger. And had you been to CCC? We were at the Christmas table and sat and got a little larger and he slapped me. Instead of getting mad, I got his calm and I started laughing. I never, and I knew I was going to whip him when I got up. <laughs> but he got up and hugged the neck. <laughs> well, he was a CC kid. He was, what, 21 or 22 or something? I've seen those pictures. Are you up to make it? Uh, I've seen I've been out of He's 19, wasn't no, he? Huh? He said the money home. Well, you went along in those years, did you not? You were just hoboing around the country. Yeah. Right during the <laughs> I had to. You're a star. <laughs> I had You're to. on TV. I got support. And yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't have. I, had, I, had, I started with four dollars. With what? Four dollars. Yeah, four dollars. Yeah. You're gone for a year or something. Yeah. And uh, it was the freest feeling because if you're going down a road and somebody offered to pick you up and go in the opposite direction, so go down. You don't care. You didn't care if you got cold out there and let you sleep and lay down on the ground. Let's sleep. It was just a great feeling. But when I got ready to come home, I couldn't get there quick enough. <laughs> well, what was it that you said carry a bucket up to a woman's house and knock on the door? No. Yeah. Oh, you mean coming, coming back? No, I tell you, I guess till you had yeah. a cat or you go to eat Don't a cat. Don't you need some gas? No, uh, uh, coming back during the bank holiday, no cars much. Right. So I got an idea that people wouldn't want to stop if you thought it was just his jacket. And so instead of getting a gas, record gas can, I got one out of the garbage heap that's kind of been burned on the outside. They look more realistic and I just walked by the hitchhiker. You know, they put, and they'd stop me. You out of gas? I'd say, no, I just used this to get a ride. They'd give me a ride. Well, I got out the side of Nashville so far. I had a very portly uh, business life gentleman and a good looking wife. Good looking blonde wife picked me up. And I, she said, I knew you were honest because your face windblown, turned red <laughs> that you should. And uh, I talked to them all the way in, and uh, they took me home. He was editor of uh, one of the big papers over there. And uh, they were so nice to me. And the next morning, we got that paper. I stayed on the job. We got that paper and went across, across the top and showed a guy with a gas can, a red gas can, and said, you way to hit you. It was me. <laughs> well, I remember a story like you and somebody would carry a, a bucket up to a woman's house and ask her, did she, could she give you some water? Because you all had a cat that you were going to skin and eat. <laughs> Wasn't there a story like that? I don't know. They might Trying to get food from her, you know? <laughs> no, I'll tell you how we got it. I met a boy. He was a graduate from Ohio State University. His dad was one of the big shots in the railroad. Was a millionaire. He was a black sheep, and he'd been married. He and his wife were divorced, and uh, <coughs> met him in Arkansas. And he told me all these fancy tales about the Rye Grand Valley that I didn't believe. They were all true, full of teeth. And he said, "Don't when you go to ask for food, don't say you got some work I do." He said they'll find something. <laughs> and uh, he said you'd be there all day. And he showed me how to do it. We never had, we never paid the. I'd knock on the door and just ask, could you give me some food? They'd give it to me. I never thought I could do that, but I got used to it and I had started with $4. Left, left on $4. Before you all got there, yeah. He told me now, and I guess he told the truth, that he uh, was a world champion in 60 meter dash, and it was a swing, and that it would never be broken because it could. But he could use the, the six of them. And I've seen him swim. He looked a little like he was heavier, weighed a lot more, about the same height and the same color hair. <laughs> but he was quite an athlete. There it is. And he was a con man. He'd been I lost it last night. He was right but when he got me. money, he had it. And he was an education. So we went to Rye Grand Valley. And this, this is, I think it's been a picture of me by Sheriff Baker. Uh -huh. Hidalgo County, the biggest county in the country. They called it Chrysler County because he had the agency for the Chrysler. He let everybody have a such a reduction. He always get elected. And they told me 
about these two, Edward made a good story about these two gentlemen who were convinced together. And they both had, and they had a son of these. And they said that if, if one of them died first, they'd try to take care of the son, and when the other died, the son would get the money and go to business together. I didn't believe that. It happened. We stopped at their place. Uh, never was treated nicer. They had great fruit lying up in them, and they had it all irrigated. And they'd take us out and everything. And he, first thing he did, he, when we got there, they were out, they had a fort in the yard, and they were out somewhere to their tractor work. Mark said, let's just take a fort. I said, Mark, be your friend. Oh, they said, well, Mark did it, that's all. And anyhow, we, I talked to him Well, you thought in jail down there. Sometimes we were in That I'd seen out there where we lived. I was going to go back to where we lived. But I didn't know. What happened, he'd been picked up for grabbing one of his purse or something a year or two ago. That's the uh, hurt. Yeah. That, but they put him through the wire. They recognized him. Yeah. And kept us two days. And when the judge said, I don't miss you up here again. And then I got mad. And said, how the hell could I kept me here? There's a great big cop that's so tall. Took me. I didn't want to come up here, you know. But you got long, long, long. And well, he's kind of great. Yeah. That was where if you had the guy in the cell with you or something. It was the black guy? Oh, oh, yeah. They, uh, what they do, they put up the lights, they let everybody out in the hallway. And the blacks are fine. And then they they they'd make a kind of a ring and then let them one on one. And the whites were young. They made me some name. I want to be getting the best of black and give up, you know, just. And I just burned up that. And I got after the corner. None of them came around to bother me. That night they was bragging, I could hear them, and I told them to shut up on go sleep. One of them says, I see you in the morning. I said, I hope you do. He says, uh, and they try to take people the same size. They, man, I'm much out of the way. They were, they were, one of the blacks said, but you weigh, I said, I don't, I don't care what he weighs. He ain't going to get up. So you ain't going to stop us. They used to stop him. I said, one of them won't be left lame. And what I was thinking about is what Papa told me. He said, once he hit, hit him, they did. They grabbed his foot, his thumbnail at him. And Papa didn't tell me, but another man. Head of the uh, uh, Veterans Administration, Dr. Sunday, had the Christmas dinner. He said, Papa Gladden was going to make his foot kick his teeth out, yeah. kick his chin out from under. Can you make him climb out? Papa could do it. Yeah. And I said, Papa, what if you couldn't have handled it? He said, I'd beat me. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. If I couldn't whip him, I was going to eat him. I knew I was going to win. Yeah. And I, I said, I see you out there in the morning, and I said, either you or me are not going to leave there. Nobody's going to stop at five. He didn't come back. So. I'm so disgusted with those up. That was some of your stories. But we was working with this fellow, Ed Bell. Uh, we, she still calls. I went back to Houston. That's when I come home after that. I took the truck back. Well, this is a little rascal. Not the truck, he's a car and he had fixed up or through it. But what we did, the others didn't do it, he had the idea. On the market before it went bad, if you put it, uh, tomatoes and stuff, and, uh, fruit or whatever you had, and go around to the, to the yeah. restaurants and sell them, we'd always sell ours out. Nobody I think I do, but I'm afraid I don't. don't he, he was smart, awfully smart. Uh -huh. There's Elizabeth Gold, she's six years old now, and that's what she's with you today. His, his father had an advantage son with the railroad company used, and he was a millionaire. Yeah, there it is. And uh, <coughs> he had taken Mark to the bin in the farm. Uh, well, we all, thought she was going to be a redhead, but book, it's uh, true. Uh, it was famous one, though, but it was, it was in the. Uh, Many words that we stayed at uh, the Boca Raton. It was the Boca Raton. Boca Raton? No, it wasn't that. It was a famous years ago. Well, no, that's what it is. Really? It's called Boca Raton. Sure. Women's Rugby Club. 
Slash me? It means you're running. If it's E slash slash, is how much battery time is left. Okay. I'm two slashes to take means over. you got. It's all hokey, but that's what I'm going to film. <laughs> yeah, I remember what's The problem is you can't get a wide... Oh, I forgot about the damn... You know what I completely forgot about? What? Telephoto. And I was moving the camera just now. You just recorded everything you just said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Until you started hollering, she didn't know. John, do you know what your cholesterol is? Charles said 400, I don't believe that. It's right here, I'm reaching for the doctor. Well, 400, you're dead. That's what I said to somebody else. Well, I've married this. Your vessel's behind your eyeballs. Well, I don't know. You know, I'm not Uh, see, uh, see. <laughs> I don't understand. Huh? No, are you watching it? Yeah. All right. Are you paying attention to what he's doing? Uh -huh. yeah. All So it is raining cats and no. 
dogs. And then here come this guy around me and went and went past me and right in front of me, he couldn't water with all over.